afraid you got a new best friend Yet it's a bit I won't pretend that it doesn't matter That you're with someone else mm. In a way that's how it's supposed to be If I'm unable to make you happy Then it's for the better that you are not with me That's why I wrote you a letter Cause you see, I write so much better than I speak And I need to tell you, you were my best friend Till the end I hope I'll be happy without you But right now I don't know what to do It's hard to get over You chose someone else, a new best friend Well, this lighting's probably not the best to start a video. I've literally just got the light of my like Tesla screen, basically, because we're in the pitch black. We're in a car park at IKEA. I feel like it's been a while since I've been to IKEA. So I thought this morning I fancied a trip out. I've taken Barney for a nice long dog walk, got some emails and bits done, and yeah, it's now 11 o'clock. Come to IKEA timed perfectly for a browse and maybe some meatballs if I fancy it afterwards. Probably will. There's also a um, garden centre, literally. I'm at the IKEA manchester so there's a garden center not cuts just right next to it so i yeah we'll probably pop there afterwards as well but yeah i thought i would pick up the camera show you any new in bits i'm not after anything in particular i was going to have a look at some um like a clothing rail which i want for my kind of like wardrobe room for like any new in bits for when i'm steaming clothes and things like that but i found this one it's just in the back i'll show you to later. I found it from Dunelm at £30 and I liked it because it's quite small, a lot smaller than the Ikea ones. So yeah, picked up that so I don't need to look for that anymore but I also need just like a couple of random little bits, like kitcheny bits. But yeah, I feel like we're just going to take a trip, get my step count in as you always do with Ikea, have a browse and take you with me. Wearing my like Zara new chunky knit cardigan which is so cozy. Little white vest, Lululemon leggings, my new Veja trainers as well, which I have to say, very comfortable. Very impressed with them so far. It's a little tight that space, but it's fine. <sighs> yeah, so good. for some reason it takes me back to this Ikea. I usually go to the Warrington one. This one takes me back to lockdown because I remember coming here and I remember the queue being like out the door at opening time and it was like one in one out policies and crazy crazy times I feel like feels like a lifetime ago but it also feels like it was yesterday what if the world had more of your smile what if the wind could spread your love what if your sweetness could reach everyone there being no awards? Mm. Just reminded myself as well, actually, I want to have a look at some rugs when I'm in the rug section for our front room, like the black room. I'm quite after maybe two of the same rugs in each of the sections of the room or maybe different. I'm not sure yet. I might get one, test it out, see how it looks. But then also I'm after maybe rather than rather than like a jute rug where our current sofa in the kitchen living space is, I might go for something more of like that kind of vintagey print. There's one on Zara Home that I've seen that I really like the look of. So um but for now I'm gonna have a look for like super soft, creamy kind of toned, luxurious, soft feeling rugs for the black room because I really want it to be nice and cozy in there with like the log fire on. So yeah, not a jute. I want like a real cozy rug for in there. I always love this display in this little section in this shop. It just reminds me of something from Harry Potter. Whoever thought of that for visual merchandising? Genius. I love it. Also, this coffee is really good. I know I don't usually drink caffeine. For like a filter coffee machine, we've got that a few times before and really like it.
So this is my meal choice. We've got uh, meatballs and chips with the jam, always, and the gravy. And then I thought I'd try this. From the Vintersag, Swedish festive drink. Doesn't really say what it is, but we'll give it a try. It looks a bit like Coke to me. And then I'm not gonna have this now, but I bought this at the till because I just thought it looked delicious. Milk chocolate with gingerbread crumbs, so we'll have that or we'll take it home. I feel like let's try our festive drink. See if it is like Coke. Oh no, it's it's like um ooh, it's not for me this. It's like berry, kind of like ribena flavoured. Now I know. Not to get it again in future. It's not for me that one. About halfway done with my IKEA shop. So I'm gonna have a pit stop here and then um, see what else we can find. They were in high school when they met and things got kinda awkward. With sparks in the air. He would stare at her in class. Barney would be in his absolute element with not one, two, three, but four doggies. These are his absolute favourite. Oh, I like the look of that cushion actually. Like a linen cushion with the pin buttons. It's from the Silmel. Oh, is that the inner? Not sure, but yeah, really nice. Spotted this. This is new in this three seat sofa bed called Nyham and it's 349. It's a really nice uh, color cover, that one. It's quite big. I feel like as a sofa bed, if you're after one, it looks really, really nice. They've got a couple out that I've um, had a look at. There's that one, which is like an L-shaped sofa. And then this is the other one that we were looking at because um, we were quite like a sofa bed. I do think I've got one, which I'm going to commit to, which is going to be delivered hopefully within a few weeks. This one is a two seat sofa bed, the Vil Vim range, 899. And then obviously that's what it looks like when it is a sofa. I would love some kind of cabinetry in our kitchen like this one, but it's glass fronted on like the top half and then a little bit of a lip out for the bottom half. But I'm keeping my eyes peeled in places like antiques, fairs. I just feel like that in our kitchen but something a bit more rustic and antique looking would be so beautiful. So yes, keeping my eyes peeled, but for the meantime, this one is the Havster at 545. Is this a sneak peek that winter is coming? Christmas stuff, the Winter Saga range. I do love a ginger thin, but I'm not gonna get them today. But yeah, is this a sign that I'm gonna see more Christmas or that it's coming potentially? Birds will sing about your I love these set of two posters. They are 17 for the set, but just the colours of them, I really like them. I'm trying to think maybe like in our pantry, side by side on the wall somewhere, they could look quite nice. But it's just for, oh no, it's the frame and the poster you get for 17 pounds for the two. Hmm, very tempted for them. Just having a look at like the kitchen section. These are quite nice. It says they're new as well. They're like a darker wood, hold hat. Um, yeah, I feel like this is something you'd see on like TikTok shop. I feel like these like boxes, lunchbox style, which sectioned off. Well, that's a full one there with the lid on as well. These are, how much are these? Four pounds. They've got these napkin rings, four pack for 350. Kind of giving like White Company Neptune style with the whole natural texture to them. Um, but yeah, like if you just want a thinner version, three pound fifty for a pack of four is not too bad. They've also got these, I think it's placemats. Also, I guess you could just use it as a tea towel, but really love the texture of that. I might actually pick up one of those. And then they've also got loads of really nice like linen textured tablecloths even just this just a plain and simple linen which one's that oh no i say plain and simple it's got like a line pattern at the end that is the varal and then they have started to get some christmasy ones as well they've got some placemats um 
table cloths. They've also got some like paper napkins. These table runners as well are really nice. I saw a couple of those on display earlier at the start. And then of course, very much white company dupe these ones. These are the Gilstad. I've got the white company ones myself. And I would say they're probably like in between these two sizes. Um, obviously this is a three pack with different sizes. So you'd have to get quite a bit if you're wanting matching sizes, but there's that and then there's these ones as well which are really nice these ones i think guys i'm in a right pickle i'm trying to find this range in the bedding because i saw it on display earlier and it was beautiful i think it's called let me just get a name the name of it luntrav it's like a beautiful linen-y texture very like h&m home and then there's this underneath it which you can see the piping is different so i think this set is what this is Angslegia, which is not what I want. So I feel like they actually just don't have it here. As he sang, she started to dance, grabbed his arm and took his. These storage boxes remind me of my Zara home one. You get a set of two for £15. Here we go. These two sizes. Yeah, just good for like keeping first aid bits in, stationary bits, and it's like a nice creamy kind of off-white colour. Um, yeah, just literally just like a set that I got from Zara Home. I don't know if I've come across this before, but this plant stand, it's like a nice wicker rattan style. I just thought it was really nice. So this is where I love the look of those jute ones, but my heart is set on something cozy. And there's this one, and I have no idea, I'm so torn here. This one, which is extra thick, 339, something like this, or this one stoents which is a lower pile it's more like a soft carpet i really like the color of this one and the price <laughs> um 159 i like the fact that it's an off-white so it's not just stark white it's nice softer kind of shade so i feel like i might go for something like this you know i feel like that's going to get really nice hoover lights as well or do i go for something like this do you know what as well these little bits coming out of it i feel like it looks a little glam a little like there's a little shimmer to it maybe but then it does look super cozy yeah this is a view of it better here i think i'm gonna go for this one the low pile stoance especially because of its color also it does say as well look you can because of the cut edges it makes it easy to join several rugs together to create a bigger rug without a visible seam if you did like have a really big space to cover um but i think 200 by 300 is probably about the right size we've made it to the uh, warehouse bit and i can see christmas in the distance Ooh. there's definitely hints of it throughout the store and i feel like it's pretty much all here Remember when these were like a cult classic? I'm sure a lot of people still have them. Alex drawers for like all your beauty bits. Yeah, they've got um, one in the bargain section, which is like all the X display for £90. Well, that one's good. £5 for that frame. Oh, it's because there's a little crack in it though. Guys, oh, the sun today. It's actually quite warm today. <laughs> kind of underestimated it with this. Um, Although, no, I'm okay. It was quite warm in, in Ikea, but now that I'm outside, it's fine. Anyway, I've just pulled up at Not Cuts. You may also see this thing in the way. I ended up going for the rug along with quite a few other things. I'll show you them later, but yeah. I decided to get it. I'll try it out at home, see what I think. And I'm glad it was the more affordable one as well. So yeah, so win-win, win-win. But I did just get the one for now. I think what I might do is see how it is in the like in front of the fire, 
sofa hopefully should be arriving soon and so I'll show you that when that arrives and also that's the other thing the sofa is like a boucle kind of fabric so I thought that with the other rug might be a bit too much I feel like it's been ages since I've been to a garden centre so I'm actually excited for my little trip inside knock cuts I'm going to see if they've got like a fancy like a hot chocolate or something or some kind of cozy drink maybe even a piece of cake <laughs> we'll see They've got all the Christmas things out already, so I'll give you a quick show of what they've got. Guys, I appreciate it's still early. I just feel like when it's out, it's out, you know? Love these little napkins, Emma Bridgewater. They are lovely. They've got loads, actually, of festive ones. Um, oh, I feel like I must. How can I not get that? Such a dog, crazy dog lady <laughs> and they've got these Emma Bridgewater ones as well from the Joy range that they do I think I prefer the other ones though the mistletoe I swear these garden centre throws are always the coziest it's this Kilburn and Scott one so so cozy I guess this is the better season more appropriate anyway we've got these really nice candle plates how much are they $5.99 and then obviously this table display that they've done. I'm loving this like burgundy color and you can obviously reuse these in um, for Christmas as well. But yeah, that forest green kind of color is probably my favorite, but followed closely by the burgundy. I love both of those. You can even like mix and match, have alternating um, napkins on each place setting, especially over Christmas but like how perfect that they can be used like this in autumn too. He's been snoozing all day. You've got tired eyes. You've got sleepy eyes, haven't you? Haven't you? Can you see you? <laughs> Everyone wants to see you, Barney. Everyone wants to see you. Come here. Come here. Oh. Were well, you a good boy? Did you miss mummy? Did you miss me? Oh. Oh, thank you. You, thank you, thank you. I did pick up you a treat, Barney Lou, for being a good boy. What's in here? I've gotten these treats from the garden centre. Ooh, that's nice. He's gone. Oh, they stink. Ooh. Really try. Do you want to eat it outside, Barney? It's nice and sunny in the garden anyway. Before you go take it in the garden. And he's off. He'll just sit there <laughs> munching on that. Good boy. Meanwhile, let's have a little taste test of this gingerbread chocolate. Let's just have a row. Two pieces. I'm not sure, but... Mmm. Rings a bell. I might have bought this last year and had it last year or the year before, but at some point. I also got from the garden centre for the road home a gingerbread latte. I've had a few people tell me I need to go to the Holly's farm shop. I feel like I would really like it there. But I'm not sure that I don't think they're dog friendly. I think they've got areas that are dog friendly, so if I'm just going by myself, I feel like I won't be able to easily get to places if I want to have a quick look if I've got the dog, which is kind of annoying. Like, garden centres should be dog friendly, I think. Anyway, from the garden centre, I did pick up these little Christmas tree shortbreads. They had gingerbread ones, they had 
um, little like Scotty's dogs. But I just thought they'd be um, fun for like hot chocolate whipped cream, pop them on top. I have some gingerbread ones already, but I think I prefer shortbread to gingerbread. And then I got a selection of those napkins. So I did get the dog one, how could I not? And the Holly Berry Emma Bridgewater one for Christmas. But then I also spotted these in the, like, the Halloween-y kind of section. I thought these ones would be good for Halloween itself, trick or treat range. And I've got a little plate and mug that I can have on Halloween. Horror movie night, we need to book it in. And then um, I also got these. I thought these were so pretty for this time of the year. So I might even get these out and just leave them in the middle of the island just to have to grab if you need them. That's everything I got from the garden center. I'm gonna bring the Ikea bits in. I might struggle with the rug. No, I'll manage, I'll manage. I probably won't put it out though for a while. I feel like I might wait until the sofa and that is here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait. So, where to begin? We have a few bits that I picked up from Ikea and firstly, I did go for the double print. It's the fact that it comes in two is like quite good, I suppose, because they complement each other really nicely. You've got the herb garden one and then the vegetable garden one, which I think is my favorite of the two. I feel like I really like that kind of vintage antique look to this print. So I'm thinking side by side in the pantry. I'm not gonna put them up just yet because the idea with the pantry, what I want to do, is actually an idea from one of you guys and I've kind of mentioned it before, but I'm thinking about doing tongue and groove paneling across the wall that is opposite the cupboards. Let me just show you. So in there, in the pantry in there, this wall like behind this fridge, which faces these cabinets, if that makes sense. It's just a plain blank wall. So to have the tongue and groove paneling panels that we've got in our downstairs low, so they're just like thin, MDF panels or some kind of thin, they don't have to be like decent wood, but just for decorative, tongue and groove paneling along that full run with a little shelf and some peg hooks that I can maybe style up with some, um, excuse me, what's the matter? Have I not given you enough attention or have you lost a toy down there? Is that what it is? I think there's a toy. paneling and pegs that I can style up with like a nice bag, Neptune bag, some flowers even, dog leads, stuff like that. And then I'm thinking above that shelf somewhere along there could be those two prints side by side. So I will wait until that's done before putting those up. But I'm just gonna leave them in the pantry for now as a bit of an encouragement to get on with that job. I did pick up this, this was in the clearance section. You know that like last section I like to have a quick browse in, the bargain buys. It was an outgoing product, there were loads of these. They're obviously discontinuing them. They were only three pounds. And it's basically a doormat, but a really, really thin one, but quite a big one as well. And our porch area, currently I've got a Hello Pumpkin doormat. So that's staying there for the foreseeable, but afterwards, like for the rest of the year, when it's not seasonal, I think a larger doormat would be better for that space because it's quite a wide space. So yeah, for three pounds, I thought that was perfect for that. Well, let me just bring the bag up. I probably actually could do with putting these in the fridge. So I'll show you these and the freezer. I'll show you them first. I've just got these Rosties. I've bought these before. They're just like a good little breakfast weekend treat. Or if you're doing like a fry up, to have a little potato Rosti with it. And then I saw this as well, which I thought could be quite fun towards Christmas time, because these have a good date on them. But to do some like cookies, it's basically gingerbread dough. So a super easy bake that we can do some little decorations, decorate some gingerbread. And then for chocolate, I 
saw this as well. Uh, as well as the gingerbread one, it's the same size as that one, but this one is white chocolate with raspberries. So Tom can have the rest of the gingerbread one. This one's probably more, more up my street. So let me put these in the fridge. So that's that. Also, I don't care what anyone says, chocolate does not belong in the fridge. Are you a chocolate in or out the fridge? Let me know. Tom is very much a chocolate in the fridge kind of guy. So we have to split it before he puts his half in the fridge. Um, anyway, I've got a couple of spare pillow cases for our V-shaped pillows. They are just the comfiest to sleep with. These inners I've got, they're called the Fiadra. These are like super choppable. They have the cheaper ones, which aren't. And then I just think it makes all the difference if you get a good inner. So I've got two of those. And then I also got these cushion covers. These are good like all year round, but I also thought it was a lovely color for this time of the year. Kind of mushroomy, greeny undertoned brown, which I thought would look good if we get two 50 by 50 cushions next to these two bigger ones from Dusk on there. Um, and then also for when we dress up a spare bed, if we've got people stopping over, which we will do over Christmas, it'll be nice just to have a couple of like throw cushions that we can pop on there. So yeah, anyway, we've got those two. I got a new whisk because ours is like a plastic one, which I find is really flimsy. So I decided to get a metal one. And then in fact, should I be telling you the prices of all these bits? These were 10 pounds, the pillows. I think the whisk was about four. The cushion covers I think were five each. These ones were definitely five. Then I also got this. This is a really random buy. Fried onions. They're good as like little toppers for if you've got like ramen noodles or stir fries. I like to put them on there. Even my salads as well. I also got this. This one was two pounds. I showed you this in store. It's just the little kind of kind of tea towel but it's also quite small so i would say it's more i'm gonna use it as like a decorative one i've currently got a zara home one on our sink which i just have a bottle brush sat on but that's quite a big one and also when it's in the wash we've got a spare one be two pounds for that and then this as well was similar price just one of these hair turbans i also got this cozy throw i quite liked the fabric of this one it's kind of like a brushed finish whereby it's got like a super soft outer. It is kind of two-tone with the cream and the beige, almost seven pounds. This was nine pounds. I think it was nine pounds. I thought it was great value for money and just one of those handy things to just have and know that there's a tool in the toolbox. Very, very thin as well. So I'm just gonna keep this in our storage room so I know that if ever I need a screwdriver or hammer or whatever, this has got like pliers as well, it's got cutters, it's got... All of these are different screwdriver heads, so that is perfect for being able to pretty much have, hopefully, every screwdriver head you'll ever need. And then, last but not least, I got some more Ziploc bags. These ones are the two and a half litre and then 1.2 litre bags as well. They had a few different designs, but these just always handy to have always good to have but anyway yeah i hope you have enjoyed a little ikea trip i feel like it's been a while um other than that i feel like i'm just gonna keep this vlog a little bit shorter i've been doing some lengthy vlogs recently which don't get me wrong i love doing but i feel like just to split it up sometimes so that those of you that maybe don't have the time to watch 45 minutes an hour long footage i watch me say that and watch this be just as long let me know how you guys are what's new what are we all watching on tv i need some good recommendations obviously maths obviously british bake off is back big brother i think it starts at the end of this week or maybe next week but yeah are you going to be watching big brother because let me tell you i am going to be watching big brother it was one of my all-time favorite shows to watch when i was younger i remember sneakily watching it because we weren't allowed i'm talking the first few series because we were still quite young well, i say we like i was still quite young and my friends yeah we used to watch it on the sly and honestly it actually probably was worse back in the day of raunchiness and tv pushing the limits and pushing the boundaries with what they showed i feel like it's a lot more tamed down like reality tv and everything now compared to what it used to be. I feel like that's obviously for a reason, the mental health and the kind of app 
aftermath that people face when they go on reality TV, which is kind of, well, it's very sad, it's very unfortunate, but also at the same time, I do kind of understand it because I'm, I'm sure it is probably quite hard to forget that cameras are on you and you're not in control of the edit. Like, Tom always says to me, why don't you get an editor, save you time so you can free up time to do other things? I just couldn't have someone edit my videos. I feel like I need to be in control of what, and I know you could always just have the final say, a quick check over of what, what's, um, what you're allowed to go live, but I would just, I'm too much of a control freak. I like to be in control, okay? I like to be in control. That's one of my things, is if I feel out of control, I'm not a happy person. <laughs> I'm not in a good mindset. Speaking of being in a good mindset and happiness, I feel like this afternoon, I'm gonna go on a nice early walk with Barney rather than sort of a five o'clock walk. What? Oh, it's four already. Yeah, we'll go on a nice long hour walk now. And then I'm gonna spend an hour reading, I think. I feel like it's been a while. And reading is one of those things that I've been really enjoying, but it's one of those things, a bit like exercise for me or, med or meditation one of those things that I don't know why but I put off doing not put off doing but I just think I should be doing that or I could be doing that and then I, I procrastinate and do other stuff but then always every single time I do it I never regret it and I get into a really good frame of mind so yeah maybe that's going to be me for the rest of this afternoon so anyway thank you for watching thank you so so much if you've stuck with me to the end I'm sending you all my love today. I hope you have a good one rest of your day or if you're watching late in the evening, hope you have a nice sleep <laughs> and a great day tomorrow. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.